This is not a laser for uh, teeth cleaning. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. I'm out here on this beautiful day working with the General Grievous ZJ. Uh, if you remember recently, we just did the headlights. We got some new Basla headlights. They have the amber, the white, everything's awesome. These things work great. But we are going to up our light game with some aux beam. <laughs> we got an aux beam 19 inch light bar uh, sent to me by Cindy. Thank you so much. She's been a huge supporter of the channel. Uh, she sent me this light bar to test out. And also, I got this eight-way controller we're going to try to wire up. So I'm going to test these out, give it a good review, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the show. So let's go to the bench and we'll uh, unbox this. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, we got ourselves a nice box. This is actually in a bigger box, but I already opened that. And um, I can't go back once you uh, rip up the tape. <laughs> you ruined your unboxing. So we're gonna open up the light bar box first, and here we go. Uh, this was uh, very delicately wrapped, and it's got some nice foam pieces, keeping it safe, so that's always cool. You'll know you won't get a smashed box. So I guess uh, quality control is good for, uh, for aux beam. <laughs> All right, and uh, dragging this piece off, and... It looks like we got two separate sections here. A uh, middle section for uh, spotlights, and the outer section I think is for more of a, a floodlight. So that's cool. Then we got, of course, the nice standard aluminum housing, which is always good. Um, nice heavy duty stuff. And we got about uh, two feet of a cord here, a uh, wire. And uh, there we go, that's it. So we got some instructions here. Uh, saw aux beam, so uh, cool, very nice instructions. Hmm, warranty card. <laughs> All right, set that aside and uh, we'll go ahead and oh, look at that more stickers, nice big aux beam sticker. And what is this? Uh, contact card, okay. Uh, here we go. This is. Um, the hardware for it. Again, we got the brackets in there, the screws, and that's always good to have if you want to actually mount your light bar. So, cool. Um, all right, I'm just gonna slide this back on. We'll keep this protected, and then uh, we'll go put this away for now. We'll open up the next box that came in our package. All right, gonna grab my knife and uh, gonna slice this package open. And uh, you know what this is? I believe this is a wire harness. <laughs> All right, yep, uh, gonna open this up again. Ugh. More tape, gotta get the tape out. Uh, pardon my gimpy wrist, guys. I'm sure you know by now, <laughs> got a wrist injury. So it prohibits me from big stuff, but I can still unbox stuff. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, that is the wire harness, as expected. All right, I'm gonna open up the uh, next box. And here we go. We got another big box in our package. And this is, pull this uh, nice wrapping up. What an excellent job wrapping. <laughs> All right, ta-da, aux beam control. All right, let's see here. I'll flip this up, pop this open, and oh, <laughs> here we go, guys. Uh, look at this thing. There's uh, some nice wiring diagrams, and uh, this is the, uh, basically this is the control module that you could power up a bunch of different accessories. So uh, we got these uh, little stickers here with all the different accessories. We have uh, some instructions, we got some brackets, we have some hardware, we got some wires in there. Um, what else we have in there? This box is actually really heavy, so uh, <laughs> this stuff is well made. So here we go, we got a nice controller, I believe this is the control panel. And uh, this is the, uh, the master box, um, I guess we'll call it a junction box, control box. Um, there we go, and uh, this is pretty solid, it's a pretty robust, and uh, 
we'll open this up and here we have a bunch of fuses and a bunch of terminals so we can uh, hook up all our accessories. So very good. There's a control box and here we have a nice big uh, 60 amp breaker. This is not just a fuse guys, this is a breaker. So if anything happens, anything shorts out, uh, you don't have to pop through many fuses or blow through fuses. You could just uh, fix your problem, reset your breaker. So that's pretty cool. Nice little package. This looks great, guys. Um, excited to hook this up. Um, actually, in here, what am I looking for? Just wanted to see the uh, connectors here. Check out this wire harness. Make sure uh, everything looks good. Um, and yeah, a ton of wires, guys. It's, uh seems to be plug-and-play, self-explanatory, especially the way this looks uh, up top over here. So, yeah, all this stuff looks great, and uh, I'm really excited to get this in the General Grievous EJ. I can't wait. So, uh, at the earliest convenience, as soon as this uh, wrist is healed up, we'll go ahead and uh, put this in the ZJ. So uh until then guys I'll uh see you uh I'll see you soon. All right so clearly you can tell in the unboxing that I did that while I was injured. I had the wrist brace on. Uh, I wanted to do something cuz I was bored out of my mind but I didn't want to push it too much. Um so here we are. We're unboxed and we're healed up so we could actually do an install now. So sorry Cindy for the delay. Uh <laughs> I'm better now. We're going to put this on. Um I don't know where I want to put this. Um you know, a bunch of people do on the bumper in front of the grill. Uh, I don't want to drill into my new bumper cover. I just had it painted. Um, in the grill, uh, there's not enough room with my new transmission cooler. Uh, I was thinking up here maybe on the hood, but Doug said not to do that ever because the glare, the refraction, refraction, reflection, one of those reflect words. Uh, of the light on the snow or the uh, uh, water or mist or whatever is in the air. Any accumulation was just unbearable. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't have a roof rack yet. So I was thinking maybe right there in the luggage rack. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm digging any of these locations. So I think I'm just going to wire this up uh, temporarily until I get a more permanent location. But uh, we're going to see what this is all about. Going to wire it up and check out how everything works. All right, so let's go back in there and do some stuff. All right, so this aux beam box is literally a treasure trove of goodies. Uh, we got power wires, ground wires. We got mounting brackets. We have the controller. Uh, we have a 60 amp breaker. Um, all these wire connectors. Um, we have the light bar itself. And uh, what is this? The big old switch assembly with all the fuses. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and wire up something. Uh, it wouldn't be a Project NH video <laughs> if we didn't bench test it. So we're going to go bench test this right now, see if we can get this to work. So I guess we'll start off with the switch assembly. Uh, look at that. We got spare fuses. We got a uh, fuse puller. And we got the main part right in here. This is... Uh, pretty solid and um, all the circuitry is covered in this this gel of course this weatherproof gel it's typical and eh, pretty cool all right so um, let's wire up the power cord we got the power here we got the ground here you can tell it gives you a little uh, a little red mark right there so that's cool uh, the short side goes from the battery to the uh, breaker. The big side goes to the box. So, go ahead and put this on here. All right. There we go. Power. Put the ground on here next. There we go. And uh, yeah, it kind of gave you some trouble because this is some nice thick wire and it wasn't easily manipulated. But yeah, cool. So this, this is going to go to our battery. 
and this is gonna go to our breaker box. Let's go ahead and open this. Let's clear cover with some clips. There we go. Cool. Reset. Cool. And it's got little uh, rubber caps. All right. Very good. So we'll go ahead and hook up our small side. This is what goes to the positive terminal of the battery. This is uh, just 10 millimeter, so go ahead and spin around. <laughs> and cap it for good measure. Cool. So here we go. This is all wired up for power and ground. Now we have these little plugs. So let's see, which one is this? Look at all this wire. Would you say I have a plethora? Would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? A what? A plethora. Oh yes, <laughs> you have a plethora. Jefe, what is a plethora? Why, guapo? Well, you told me I have a plethora. And I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. I would not like to think that a person would tell someone he has a plethora and find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. <laughs> All right, so we got this one. This little two-pronger, white and red, just clips right on here. And we got this four-pronger. Gonna go ahead and bang this right on the four-way right there. All right, now we're gonna go trace the four-way to this nifty-looking plug. And just so happens, I found the other side of this plug connected to the controller. Very cool. So this has got a little lock. You put the tab up top. There we go. That slides on. And it's got a nice little all right here. Twisty locky thing. <laughs> and it won't go on. I don't know if that's cross-threaded or not. There we go. Nice and tight. Cool. All right, that's all wired up. So now we know this goes to the battery. This goes to the ground. Um, what we need now is to hook up our accessory light to one of these sections. So uh, let's go see how many amps this thing's supposed to run at and then we'll know which one we could use on the map now I'm sure you could mix and match whatever you want but it just so happens that these are already laid out with 30s 20s 10s and 5s so I'll just wire it up accordingly um so here's an idea ah uh, here's the wire harness <laughs> oh my gosh it looks like a mess on camera promise you it's not that bad all right, here's the fuse that came with the harness from the light bar. This is prior to the controller. If you're just going to buy the light bar and harness, this is the harness you would get. All right, this is a 30 amper. Okay, so I'm going to hook up a wire to the 30 amper in here. And, well, actually, I need a wire. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut a hunk of wire off of this harness so yeah this is definitely useful so yeah I'm gonna use the wire coming from the relay 
that's supposed to go to the accessory. So this is it. Everything gets used, nothing wasted. All right, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and clip a little bit right here. Oh, here's a good tip, guys. If you're cutting a wire that's still connected to the battery, you do one at a time. This way, your tool doesn't short the wires and blow your fuses. Now, since it's <laughs> powered down, obviously it's not connected to anything, you go ahead and cut them at the same time. But you generally want to clip one at a time. So, there we go. I'm going to get rid of this harness now. Put this to the side. You could always use extra wire. And now we got the harness for the lights. So since it's going to be a 30 amper, I'm going to go ahead and strip this end, and we'll go ahead and screw it into a 30 amp place. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to slide these in. Yeah, that's right where they need to go. Hold it in place. And gonna tighten them down. All right, very cool. Now I just have to hook up this end to my light bar. All right, let's see. So I got I got these kind of connectors over here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the male connectors onto the side. Make it easy. Two. There we go. Nice and crimped on. Didn't solder it. I'd usually solder it. But I'm not going to fight against something that's already there. Pretty cool. Alright. Very good. Negative and positive. All right, very good. All right, uh, let's see. Battery ground. This is going to my bench tester when that's up and running. And then uh, what else? We got the light wired, the controller wired. What are you? This is the only thing that I don't know what this does. Let's see. Let's take a look at the box. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed you. <laughs> There's all the wiring diagrams you need. It shows all these accessories wired up and uh, easy peasy stuff, guys. So let's see. I don't know if you can tell, but okay. Wire up the red to the accessory. So that's just going to go onto the battery also. Easy. All right, so we got a good old trusty power supply. Love this thing. Power it on. Make sure it's about 12 volts. There we go, 12 to 13 volts. It's great. Okay, gonna clamp my power to the positive. There we go. Negative to the negative. Easy stuff, guys. Um, all right, now according to the instructions, I can find it. All right, here we go. Instructions says, just like on the top of the box. All right, we are in the number one slot, right over here, that's number one. And the controller, the number one slot is up there. So number one, number one, let's see. Oh, all we have to do is connect that other little white wire. Here it is, not the white, the red. Uh, it says the red connects to the ACC, so I guess that's the switch on power. We'll go ahead and connect the switch on power there. Hey, look at that. You see that? The panel glows. Pretty cool. It says that the white connects to uh, switched dimming. So I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe if I touch it to... Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. I'm gonna get a switch for this to make it dimmable. Every time you touch it to negative, let me see, on off, nope, 
It's not clear in the instructions how to get this to dim on its own. Um, yeah, but either way, that's pretty cool. So I'll leave it on bright. I'll probably leave it on bright anyway. It says to leave it disconnected if you want it on bright, so for all intents and purposes, we'll just leave this uh, disconnected so it'll be on the bright. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and turn on the power to the lights by hitting number one. I wish me luck. <laughs> all right, guys, that works. Cool, on off. Let's see if this center on off does anything. Oh, uh, cool. All right, we got a master control on and off. And we have individual controls on and off. Digging it. That's great. All right, let's see if this uh, breaker works. Let's go ahead and reset it. Yep. There we go. Back on. Power on. <laughs> All right. This is cool stuff, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and wire this up to the ZJ. Or temporarily in the ZJ. Alright guys, so I basically took that whole bundle we assembled in the garage and I plopped it into the ZJ and this is pretty much how I would have it if uh, I was wiring this permanently. Um, you'd keep your breaker as close to the battery as possible. I'd probably keep the, uh, the panel, the circuitry for the fuses and everything tucked behind this fuse box somewhere. Um, the light would be up here and the wire would come running up through there and uh, the only thing different is this controller would be ran through the firewall uh, obviously because you want that by you to control it and I would have this uh, little wire this red wire um, probably tapped somewhere behind the radio to get that uh, accessory on to make sure it's powered up but yeah uh, <laughs> that's really simple um, now the light bar I guess, I guess I would run it along the pillar somehow. Um, I have the XM antenna under here. Uh, I generally don't like antenna signals ran by power signals because I don't want the interference to mess with the audio. Uh, so I would always run things on opposite sides. But I did say in the other video when I ran this that I was looking to uh, put this back on the tailgate. So when I drop the headliner, this will get moved. Maybe I'll, uh, I hate saying it, but maybe I could drill a hole in the roof somewhere uh, when I fix the sunroof to, uh, to mount this. But uh, I hate drilling. Um, so yeah, uh, this would be up here. That would be not there. And that's it. Um, all right, it's just simple as that, guys. Plug and play. This aux beam stuff's really cool, man. I love it. So I'm just gonna go hook on these battery terminals. There we go. That should do for the test. Cool. And uh, go ahead and do the negative. I always want to put your finger underneath these terminals because these uh, little screws will just drop right out. The terminals themselves aren't threaded, so uh, yeah, where'd that wire go? Yeah, the terminals themselves aren't threaded, so you're going to want to put your finger under the nut, because if you lose it, it will be a pain, and that concludes my <laughs> terminal rant, so, alright, here it is. Cool. There. Alright, let's see if this baby goes on. Got my controller, position one, here we go, <laughs> there it is, pretty cool stuff guys, I love this aux beam, now this has eight accessories to control and boy I would love to save this for beach jeep, <laughs> whenever I'm done with that 
uh, this would be a great thing to have in Beach Jeep. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put this in Beach Jeep and not wire this permanently in the Grievous. Um, I could wire up the Grievous with the regular switch, the regular toggle on and off switch. Um, that's the light bar. And you know what, to give it a fair review, I'm gonna leave all this hooked up till tonight and I'll show you this at night. All right guys, we're back, it's night. Can you see me? No, yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe that's not a bad thing. All right, the point is to see the lights on the Grievous. So here we go. Here are the aux beam lights. Here's the light panel. Whoa, that's pretty bright. Now there are light setting modes, but we're just gonna leave this bright for now. And uh, here we go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Another nice bright light by Oxbeam. Look at that. It's glowing up the, uh, the Grievous. It's gl gl glowing. It's glowing a <laughs> black beauty. And it's just uh, crushing my neighbor's house with light right now. So that is the 19 inch light bar. Whew. Yeah, that's bright. That's right about where I would have it if I were to mount it fully. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly where I want to mount this thing permanently. Um, maybe I'll even put it on another Jeep. But uh, I just wanted to show you this light bar. It's so cool. Thank you, Auxbeam. There we go. <laughs> oh, bask in the ambience of the blue. All right, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this light. Uh, if I'm going to mount it permanently on the General Grievous, you guys will see every detail. You guys will know exactly how I'm going to do it in case you want to do it yourselves. Uh, let me know what's a good place or where is a good place to mount this. It's a 19 inch light bar, uh, so sky's the limit. I'll see if I can fit it anywhere you recommend. Uh, maybe I'll save it for the XJ, Super Secret Project XJ. Um, I don't know. Either way, I got some great stuff uh, ready to go. Um, so that's going to be it. Uh, thank you again, Cindy from Auxbeam. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for sending me these great lights. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing how far this channel's come and how many supporters I have. Thank you, everybody out there. All right, that's going to do it. Like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next project. Peace. Would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? A what? A plethora. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have a plethora. Jefe, what is a plethora? Why, guapo?